Welcome back to another vlog. I just did a workout, took the dog on a super long walk, and so dude's just chilling on his bed down here now because he's tired. <laughs> yes. First things first, because I have wet hair, I'm gonna show you guys my little secret that I never share because it's a little bit embarrassing because you don't look cute, but if you have curly hair, you totally have to try this. And I have been getting more and more questions about my curly hair lately, so I thought this could help anybody that has curly hair. The first thing you have to do is you have to get a big old t-shirt out. I always prefer these comfort color ones. <laughs> these I always sleep in, like every night. I love these, I get them in a large on Amazon. I saw this on Pinterest like last winter and it totally changed the game for me and this really just helps with like the frizz it makes my curls even curlier and i do notice a huge difference when i do this so what i do i just kind of lay the hair down like this i grab the back of the t-shirt and i put it around my forehead kind of fold the front up then we take the sleeves and we tie the sleeves around my, the back of my neck. And I look a little crazy for a little bit, but I'm telling you, it works. If you have curly hair, definitely try it. Put your product in first. One of my last videos, I was sharing with you guys some new curly hair products that I just got. And don't worry, I'm not using, a lot of you in the comments were kind of worried about me using the Diva Curl products. I had never heard anything bad about them before, but so many of you were really concerned. I did a little research, I watched some YouTube videos, and then I got scared, so now I'm not using them. Which I, I had no bad experience, I'd only used them a couple times. But anyway, for my hair, I always use Moroccan oil, because I've been getting some questions about products. So I always use this right here. This is like an absolute must have. I usually use some sort of mousse. I'll either use this right here. I have a Tresemme mousse. I used this today, which this is a newer product and I really like this. So really I've just been playing around with a lot of products for several months till I find something I really, really like. So in the meantime, what I do, I throw on some makeup while I have the t-shirt on my head and then after I have my makeup on maybe like 20 minutes later I'll take this out and just let it air dry the rest of the way but I notice a huge difference with the t-shirt on my head makeup on as you can see it's all over the t-shirt now so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when I take it out of here it's not dry or anything I still have to let it air dry but it's definitely much curlier than it normally would be if I didn't have it up in the t-shirt Pretty curly, still wet. So then I just let it air dry and I like it a lot. It definitely keeps a lot of the frizz out. So you guys will just kind of see what my hair ends up looking like as the day progresses. Another embarrassing thing. This is actually what I'm working on today. I'm working on returns. I'm working on some Poshmark stuff. Over here, this is all stuff that I have to take to the post office. Some are Poshmark things. Some are Nordstrom returns from the sale. Things that I didn't end up liking. But the past few days, I've been working on putting things up on my Poshmark. These are all things that I just recently put on there. So if you guys don't follow me on there, definitely make sure to. I have to get a picture of a bunch of stuff today. But guys, this I put on my Poshmark a few days ago. Shocked it hasn't sold. This is brand new. $88. Never worn. It's a little romper. I feel like maybe the photo I got of it wasn't very good. But then I had an idea. My mom actually has this mannequin. And I was like, maybe if I put things on the mannequin, you'll be able to really see how it would fit. And then maybe, maybe that would attract more people. So anyway, this is what I'm working on today. I've really just started a big mess in here. These are the little bags I got on Amazon. They're like little shipping bags. And these have been great. Here is the mannequin right here. Is it creepy or is it gonna help us sell products? 
That's the question. Maybe some of these things will fit on here and maybe it'll look cute. Maybe I'll look like a real storefront. This is what I'm thinking. We make this our mannequin section. Because I'm not putting everything on the mannequin. Okay, is it gonna fit you? This will give the people a good idea. Also, do we think she's less creepy? I think she's less creepy without the head. So it's super cute. I also have these up on my Poshmark too and I feel like that whole outfit would be really adorable. Now this fit on the mannequin beautifully. <laughs> Um, guys, check out my Poshmark. This is on there. This is basically a brand new Lululemon. This is called the Define Jacket. If you look it up on their site, it's still on their site in this exact color. But it's basically brand new. Um, it, it retails for $118. And I've only worn it a couple times. It's a tiny bit snug on me. I think it's supposed to be fitted like this. This is a size 4 in Lululemon. I just prefer, I have the same jacket in a size 6 in a different color and I just prefer that fit better for me. Okay, I've literally spent hours putting things on Poshmark. So definitely check out my Poshmark. I'll have a link to it down below. But I really would like to clear out as much stuff as possible before we end up moving so I'm not bringing a bunch of stuff with me. A couple things I wanted to share with you guys. I got Nordstrom orders in here. I know I did a whole video shopping in store and sharing with you guys what I got. I would like to also share with you guys some things that I ended up ordering online and I got. Honestly, I feel like I'm returning the majority of it because it's always just better to see things in person. So I'll show you guys that. And I just got this Ulta order. It just came. And I, of course, got more press-on nails. These I was wearing a couple of weeks ago. They're an OPI color. But I always get the Impress color ones. And some people were asking, these are sticky on the back, but you guys actually gave me the suggestion to just add a drop of glue and they stay super long. These right here have been on officially two weeks. Only one fell off a few days ago and I just glued it back on. So this is what two weeks looks like. Really good. So then I got these. This is a limited edition, just Conti. Um, I don't know if you guys will be able to pick it up, but they're nude, but then some of them have some little polka dots on them. So I thought those were really cute. The last pair are these. These are also Jess Conti. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. But these are more of like an oval shape and then just kind of all different shades of nude. So I thought those were fun too. So can't wait to try those out. Now for the Nordstrom orders. I shared with you guys in that Nordstrom video, I picked out a pair of Steve Madden shoes and they were kind of like a nude color. And I told you guys I ordered them in black too. Here they are. They definitely look like a Prada boot, like what I was saying because of this detail around the toe. Love that they're just like a slip on. I feel like I could wear them with everything. Here's something I'm really, really debating. These were $59, which I feel like is a really good deal for a boot. But I was just in my closet and I was counting how many pairs of shoes I've just got in the past few months. And I really feel like it's too many. <laughs> so I love these. I think they're really cool. The brand is Open Edit. They're another slip-on. Definitely got some good height to them. They're comfortable. I tried them on true to size. And just kind of like this pattern. So I don't have anything this color. Is this white or is this cream? It says ivory. I really don't have like a white boot. But I feel like the boot that I bought like these. That's kind of like that sand suede. Um, it's, it's kind of a similar vibe, but at the same time, it's very different. So, 
Guys, vote in the comments. What do I do about this? Do I keep them or not? It's really hard for me to buy clothes for the fall and winter and just not knowing, am I going to wear it? Because sometimes I get really excited about things in my head and then when it really comes down to it, I don't end up wearing it. But I think those are cool, so we'll see. Also, if anything is still in stock, I will leave it down below. It's open to the public now till August 8th. Got a pair of sneakers that were in the sale. I thought these were adorable. Ordered these online. It's just a Nike sneaker with some leopard on it. A gum bottom. Honestly, I tried these on. I wasn't... I wasn't really excited about them. I want to kind of show you guys what they look like. They are really cute, but I just feel like I have a lot of sneakers. I also told Joshua, I was like, I really, really want to love the things I buy. I don't want to just get them and be like, oh, they're good enough. I want to really, really love it. So I don't feel like I need these. I'll try to give you guys a little bit better of a view of them. They are cute. But I just feel like I have sneakers and I don't need a pair like this. I don't know, actually, the more I'm looking at them, the more I'm like, do I need them? I really don't think I do, but they're cute. While we're over here, I'll show you guys what this boot looks like on. And then you can vote in the comments. What do you think? Do I keep them or not? I mean, honestly, I feel like they're a pretty good deal. So, here they are. I think they're adorable. I really, really like them. I'm just like, am I going to wear them? Last pair of shoes. I thought they were cool because they were a slip-on. This is what they look like. I really like the whole slip-on concept. So I tried them on. Honestly, to me, they felt sort of narrow through here to where I'm like, I feel like maybe if I'm walking for, for a long period of time, that might get uncomfortable. They do not look good with these socks. When I tried them on for Joshua, he was like, oh, those are sweet. But again, I think they're cool. I'm just like, I don't know. I just feel like they feel really narrow through here. Like my foot, like, I don't know. They're cool, I just think. I mean, they were still $100, so I think for that price, I can find something I love more. Okay, we're in the car. I'm here with Joshua. That's me. In all of his new golf gear. Got my other stuff on. We've got several returns in the back. Several. I'm returning the shoes. I asked Instagram. Guys, if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me over there because that's where you'll see things first. I asked Instagram keep or return the shoes because they really needed to know like now because I was doing a bunch of returns. 66% as of now says return. And I tried them on and I was like, I was kind of walking around for a couple minutes and I was like, you know what? I think we can do better. We're gonna drop all these returns off and feel really good about ourselves. We're sitting in the car waiting for some food. And Joshua and I, we always do this about things, but we place our bets on when we think the perfect home will show up for us. Joshua? Joshua's vote oh, was. I wrote it down, everyone. Yeah, I told him to put it in his phone so we remember, because I think I'm gonna be right. Abigail said. The end of September slash October and we're moving into the house November or December. My guess is end of August and we're moving in by early October. And we predicted these things <laughs> this morning at 10.28 a.m. With no houses on the market and no home in sight. We literally have not even gone and looked at a house because... I mean, there's literally nothing. We are working nothing with a realtor close. and our realtor hasn't even been able to even send us anything because there is literally nothing with all of our Yeah, checks. our 100 acres, our 48 <laughs> bedrooms. With all of our little... Just kidding, it's a joke. Wants and needs. So we'll see. 
the house will come up soon. But what do you guys think? Am I right? Or is Josh right? I guess he's being more of an optimist, saying it's sooner than later. Hello, everybody. It's the next day, like usual. Joshua and I are gonna have a little snack. It's actually just a Sunday, pretty lazy, Outer Banks binged kind of day. We got eight boxes of cereal. <laughs> <laughs> We did a random order of Magic Spoon cereal, not sponsored in any way, shape, or form, but we thought it would be fun to do a little taste test for you guys. Okay, so these are all the flavors that we got. So, well, let's just start. The reason we did this randomly is because... Josh was obsessed with cereal. I was obsessed with cereal. I used to eat it every every night before bed. Basically um, a full box of Cocoa Krispies. Yeah, and that's really unhealthy. We tried this before. We tried the, the chocolate variety, and it was... Not kind of gross. Cocoa Krispies. Yeah. Mostly because I had just had Cocoa Krispies, then tried it. We've been eating very healthy recently, so we thought we'd give it a try. Yeah, we thought maybe our taste buds have changed. Being real with you guys. We've already broken into the fruity box. Last night at 1.30 in the morning, <laughs> we cracked this one open and the peanut butter cracked them open at 1.30. So our review so far of the peanut butter it was all, I, like, I kind of liked it. Joshua was like, eh. I liked it after I tried the fruity, but. But fruity, <sighs> That's dude, in first place so far. It's exactly like Fruit Loops. Yes. Exact same thing, this is the best. We're trying this with an almond unsweetened original. So that's gonna be our, our uh, liquid for the cereal here. I'm Last excited. night Joshua tried it with his lactate and we tried it with just unsweetened almond milk and he didn't notice no a difference. So. Okay, which one are we trying first? So we already tried fruity. This is what I thought would be first. So we're gonna set that aside. We're going, we're going crazy and we're gonna start with the okay. cookies and cream here. Okay. We're gonna try this out. But just a tiny bit in the bowl, because yeah. we're trying out It's like a wine fun. tasting. We yeah. were gonna swish it around and spit it out. Yeah, like the littlest bit, please. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Tell me when to stop. More. Good. Oh, you really like the douse in the minute. Okay. Okay, here we go. First bite of cookies and cream. Gonna get some cookies and... It's not disgusting, but I don't think it'd be my first choice. It's all right. Is it better than peanut butter? No. You know what's the grossest thing in the world? What? Listening to people eat cereal. Oh, we'll just fast forward to this part. I'm gonna go crazy here for a sec, folks. I'm going off the rails. I'm gonna combine the peanut butter mm. into the cookies and cream real quick as a as a bonus. You're gonna have a huge bowl of cereal. How's that? It's pretty good. Okay, give me a bite. Wait, I didn't get enough peanut butter. I like that more. Mm -hmm. Next, we're trying cinnamon. Cinnamon. Also, we burnt the roots of our mouth. Yes, so this is on very pizza difficult. yesterday. And like, you know, whenever you eat cereal, the roof of your mouth already feels a little weird. My favorite cereal is cinnamon toast crunch. So, ooh. Let me smell. Let me smell. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's good, that's good. Are we both gonna eat out of this bowl? Yeah, because I still okay. I'm working on my original. Alright, here we go. Cinnamon flavored. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, douse the whole thing. Alright, here we go. One, two, three. Mm-hmm. Mmm. I think anything mixed with the peanut butter would be really good, honestly. I'm not gonna do it. That cinnamon is really good. It is. I love it. That definitely is taken. Second. Oh. That's that's a midnight snack word. That's first mm -hmm. place for me. Over fruity? Yeah. Wait a second. Yep. Now that I, the more I'm eating of it, the more I love it. It's cinnamon toast crunch. Alright, 
So cinnamon has overthrown the fruity for me. Mm hmm Dude, just mixing all these together would probably be good. Frosted. Now, I predicted this one to be third on my list. One thing about this cereal, it is expensive. Yes. Like, we spent like $80 on eight boxes of cereal. It's just under $10 a box. So, it is expensive. Okay, here comes the frosted. We'll do the smell test first. I would really want some. It smells like yogurt. Oh. Yeah, pour the tiniest bit in Yeah, here. just a tiny. This would probably be good mixed with the cinnamon though. Oh yeah, frosted cinnamon. Mmm. Hey, you're eating all of it. <laughs> I really like it. I would eat that. Take a couple bites. What? Nope. What? Nope. For me, it's fruity cinnamon this. Nope. For me, this is last place. Really? And I've completely destroyed the top of this box. Last but not least, everyone. Blueberry. And I don't like anything blueberry flavored, so. Look at dude. Dude Literally. is just wanting so much of this. He's like, hey, that's all that's all natural, isn't it? Um, it must smell like one of your trees, tomboy. Initial smell test. Smells like a blueberry bagel. I don't like blueberry bagels. If like you do, you'll probably like it. You gotta give the people what they want. That's a very good purple color. What about for the people that have never heard of Magic Spoon cereal? Basically, I'm just. Oh, gonna you have to put more milk in there. Really? Yeah. Basically, it's just healthy cereal. Yes. Okay. Same time. One, two, three. If you like blueberry bagels, that's that's you're up your alley. This is gonna be your obsession. Mm -hmm. I don't like anything blueberry flavored, and I like this. Okay, now let's wash things down with the fruity. But yeah, I'll order it again. From what I know, and what I taste, magic spoon. Fruity. You're the cereal of my choice now. It'd be nice to just get like a discount code. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Um, for our mid-afternoon snack. <laughs> five o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well. Put cereal all in my teeth. No. I really think that's it for this video. Okay. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let me know in the comments, have you guys ever tried the cereal? Which flavor is your favorite? Or are there other flavors that we didn't get that we need to try? Anyway, hope you're all doing well. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. And I will see you really soon in my next video.